Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 9 of LTEC 620. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about working with masks. Now, let me give you an example. Take a look at this picture, which I downloaded from the internet, and imagine that I want to include just a portion of this picture, let's say this area up here of the lamp. Let's say I wanted to include a circular piece of this picture in my design. How can I do that? Well, the answer is to use a mask. Now, let me go ahead and walk you through this in Affinity Designer. So I'm gonna switch over to Affinity Designer, and you can see I have nothing open here. And what I'm gonna do now is actually open up that street lamp photo. And I'm gonna click open, and here it is. Now, essentially what I wanna do is kinda of cut out this area of this lamp over here. What I can do is grab the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, one of these tools over here. I'm gonna use the ellipse tool and actually draw some kind of a circle, something like that. And I'll just try, it doesn't have to be perfect yet, but what I can do is just kind of position it over that lamp, that the piece of the picture that I wanna keep, something like that. Now notice over here in our layers view that the ellipse is on top of the background picture. So what I can do now is right click and select rasterize to mask and watch what happens. Now what's happened is all the only portion of the background picture that I can see is what is specified by that circle that I drew. In other words, that is the mask. Now, what's interesting about this is I can actually move this. Let's say I didn't want that particular lamp. I wanted this one for some reason, or I wanted a bunch of them like this. I can move this mask around and that whole picture is still in there. But let's just go ahead and focus on this. So now what I want to do is actually select both of these layers. I'm just going to click on both of them and just group them together like this. Good. So they're just one thing. And now what I might want to do is put in a background image. And let me just quickly, I've got snapping on, so this should be really easy to create something. Now, this is just taking the dimensions of the actual photograph itself, uh, which I may or may not want. But right now it's covering up my circle lamp. So I, what I need to do is drag this underneath like that. And then of course I could fill this to any color that I wanted to. Maybe let's do something a little bit darker, something like that. And then maybe I want to put a little bit of a border around this. So I'm going to create another circle like this and I'm going to turn its fill off. I don't want any fill, but what I want to do is actually snap this right to the size of this image and make sure those snap into place. And I'm gonna give it a stroke color. I'm in the grays, something a little bit lighter than the background, doesn't have to be much. And let me change the width to, to two pixels, just so we can see it really easily. Very nice. Now, one of the things we may wanna do is if we open up our group here, you can see that we still have the entire background image. We may not want all of that information. If we've gotten this mask in just the right spot, what we can do is select the group level, right click and click rasterize and trim. Boom. And now all we have, let, actually let me combine this with the ellipse. Now what we have is something, whoops, let me lock the background. Now we have this, we can move this around wherever we want and we're free to use it. So that's an example of applying a mask to a photograph, which we might want to use in our designs. Thanks everyone. We're out of time for today. Have a great week and I'll see you in Canvas.